Hello everyone and welcome back to another demo. Um, it's very loud. I hope I can edit that. Um, we are playing The Inquisitor. This game came out fairly recently and I was kind of interested in it because the world lore sounds so interesting. It's a... Um, I'm sure maybe they have something right there that kind of explains it. Welcome to our demo, Inquisitor. Enjoy the city of Con... I'm probably gonna butcher this. Cohen Konigstein with us and dip into the abyss of a humanity and dark mysteries you, a dedicated inquisitor in God's service, are tasked with revealing. The symbol of the Inquisitor throws you straight into the market of the city. There you'll begin your mission and experience several major features of investigation within the game, as well as the first combat encounter. There's a tournament to be won and tough questions to be asked. What are you waiting for? We would like to leave your feedback or report any unusual behavior in the game in the demo. Uh, the game's already out. So, um... Actually, can I turn down the sound? The music? While it sounds really cool, it's also just very loud. And I'm just gonna turn this down preemptively. Um... Yes. Oh, should I look at... <coughs> Excuse me, should I look at any other ones? Oh, there's a colorblind mode! Nice! Subtitles on, sprint mode, toggle, extras. There's collectibles. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I feel like there was, um... Well, there is mixed reviews online. And while I was interested in the story, I don't want to play a jank game, usually. Usually. Sometimes the story is worth playing a jank game. Um, but yeah, it's like a crazy, uh, different alternate universe where Jesus did not die on the cross. He was full, field, 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 I can't, I, well, what I'm trying to say is fueled. Fueled with rage and vengeance and declare of the Inquisition. So kind of, let's just jump right in and see what it's about. I'm actually, I really like the concept of this game. They thought they had Christ in their grasp. Whoa. They thought they could do with him as they pleased. Thus did they mutilate him and nail him to the cross. Yikes, yeah. They laughed as he promised his vengeance would fall upon them. But he stayed true to oh his words. Oh my god. The earth they trod upon ran red with blood. The cities they resided in were engulfed by flames. Having witnessed their defeat, they hid amidst the faithful. They thought they would be safe. Oh. They were mistaken. Ever steadfast inquisitors, masters at discerning subtleties and signs, followed their trail. With the words of the scripture, did they convert the heretics? Oh! With fire, did they cleanse the witches? By their hands were the deceitful vampires impaled. In the name of Christ and for his eternal glory! Okay, that's a very intense opening. And we're getting thrown into this uh, town. The year 1533. There's probably more to the beginning than just being thrown here. Welcome to Königstein, Master Inquisitor. Königstein. The guard captain. Mortimer Manadine. Licensed Inquisitor. In service to the Bishop of Hez Hezron. The Holy Office informed us of your arrival. I 
must admit that I'm surprised by the purpose of this visit. I don't believe there's a vampire lurking in Königstein. There hasn't been a recorded sighting of one in these parts for what must have been a century. That doesn't mean there isn't one here. Fair enough. That's why my men and I will do our best to assist you. As far as we are able to, of course. Thank you, Captain. I'm just following the mayor's orders, so it's him you should be thanking, not me. If you wish to express your gratitude personally, go to the fair. He's attempting to raise funds there today. My men will show you the way. Now, please excuse me. I need to check on the outposts at the other gates. All right. You were right. He's an inquisitor. Inquisitor. I told you. I spotted the inquisitors and in signal right away. Only they can wear those. Bloody dog catcher. All the spit did not come from his mouth. We will bring trouble on our heads. Sup? So, oh. Where's the fair taking place? The captain mentioned there's a fair currently being held in town. Where exactly? In the town square. You can't miss it, master. But be wary of Russians. Them sons of whores are always lurking in the stands. Do you know anything about a vampire? Do you know anything about a vampire? One is supposedly lurking around these parts. I haven't heard anything. How about you? Me neither. Sounds exactly what a vampire would say. <laughs> well, we don't even get to explore the pier? Okay. I do want to see how it feels with actual control. I mean, it's not so bad. I think most of the reviews I did want... Try, I tried not to read just in case I get spoiled. They were mentioning how jank the controls were. Oh, this is cool. Go to the fair. Okay, I don't like that it's typing it out. Ugh. Go to the fair. Uh, on this day, we celebrate Christ triumphant, an ale fair which, for which, oh, how did he say it, Kongenstein is famous, is being held in the market square. I'm glad I stopped by to find out if it's truly as impressive as folks say. I should also use this opportunity to have a chat with the mayor. And this is our only... Oh. Tab. Okay, can they all... Okay, it's pretty cool how this is set up. We have a vampire, the vampire. According to the Holy Office, the Bloodsucker has made a cozy nest for himself in Kondenstein. However, Bertram doubts its existence. It's possible that the fiend has success or skillfully blended in with the townsfolk. Finding the creature will not be easy. Hmm. Bertram. Bertram is the captain of the town guard. He seems like a decent man. I think he can be trusted. I'm sure these will update as we continue on with our investigation. The guards posted at the gate of the day of the fair has grown a little too big for their britches. They're simpletons who enjoy being lazy and gossiping. I heard one of them refer to me as a dog catcher. What an uncal thing to say. Clues, we have none. Uh, I'm glad we can skip it though. I don't- I- I- eh, Just have it written out already, in my opinion. But at least we can skip it to where it is written out. The 22nd of September in the year of our lord. 1533. The Holy Office sent me to Kongenstein to investigate the case of a vampire supposedly prowling the town. As an inquisitor, I don't expect a warm welcome. As a tireless servant to our lord, I believe that he will put good people on my path who will aid me in seeing my task to completion. You know, I'm, I'm kind of loving this. Can we just go any- these doors. He's really tall, isn't he? Hello. Can I talk to anyone? Okay, maybe the controls are a little jank. I can't talk to just anyone. Okay. Player, prayer, player guidance. Use prayer to see places and objects that are of, of interest to you. Player, prayer will lead you by casting a beam of light on your next destination. Yo, there's something over here. I wish I could just walk. What is this? Relinquish, replenish your prayer energy by interacting with the shrine. Oh, we have a, <coughs> excuse me. We have a bar. Thank you, Jesus, 
and not letting me compromise in pursuit of the truth. So is Jesus still alive? I assume yes. Oh my god. I think this is just an interesting lore concept. So how uh, how much? It didn't show me a bar or a meter, so I don't know. Can we skip this? Yes, with circle. Oh, well, it's too late now. <laughs> okay, we have a we have a meter for our prayer, but that's a cool concept. Lots of people with big bellies out here. Attend mass and celebrate our Lord's triumph. Can I talk to you? Light the votive candle. Yeah, there's some weird texture on his chest when he does that. Just to find the means that lead to the end. Oh, he says something different Ray, in his shrine. His bloody work. Do we have like a map? Are you just like a crier that just preaches? Offer praise and be grateful for the gift you receive. One shouldn't ignore the for a conversation with God when faced with such. Who? That dude? The hour of vespers approaches. Attend mass and celebrate our Lord's triumph. No. What's he talking about talking to someone? What's happening here? Oh. Yikes. Really? Are we just lighting everyone? There's so many. Merciless Mary. Grant me the gift of sternness that I may never meet our punishment in moderation. The hell? What was that? Okay. Oh, okay. Wow, who's this? <laughs> that easy, huh? I didn't help the force. He stole my shirt skin. Your shirt skin. Oh, what the hell? Um... What? Oh, that's bullshit. There wasn't a quick time event to jump over that. I don't. I don't know how I feel about the quick time events, guys. He dashed there. He dashed there. I'm not feeling very invigorated with this um, gameplay, I'll be honest. I clicked circle, hello? Like, no one's trying to help me at all. Not even a guard. Well, don't worry, I'm jumping over it, guys. It does feel janky. It feels very janky. Got away. What? So be it. I'll get him some other time. Okay, guys. Uh, Harbor Market Tavern. Oh, God. Okay. Well, where do we need to go? I don't like quick time events usually. Hello. I don't know if I like this game so much now. Christ who is vengeful. Fill my heart with the desire for vengeance. But we'll see. We'll see it through. That way over here. 
Whoa! A short story about how I lost my father. My old man, Jarl Heckman, was a kind-hearted man. He did, however, have a flaw one might even call an addiction. Namely, he loved whores. Whenever he had a penny to spare, he went straight to the local whorehouse called Take Your Breath Away. A truly charming name, said Haven of Debauchery, I shall mention, enjoyed quite a reputation and attracted enthusiasts of carnal pleasures from all over Kongenstein. A nearby mysterious bass relief known among the locals as the Mouth of Infidelity has filled eyes of many a customer with fright. Every single visitor had to pass by and face the, the gaze of the bearded man with his wide open mouth. Back then I had no clue what the opening was for, but today it seems rather obvious. Legend has it the mouth attests the honesty of a man suspected of adultery. It said women of the past often used it. Whenever her wife suspected her husband of infidelity, she dragged him before the relief and commanded him to put his manhood into the opening. If the man in question had attained himself with infidelity, he could be at ease. His cock wasn't going anywhere. But if he had indeed cheated on his lady, the mouth would rob him of his manhood with a quick, painful slice. Yikes. Until recently, no one believed such tales. There was no proof the mouth could really bite off a dick. They're very vulgar with this. The relief's magical properties seem to be but a measly story. One day, my mom found out about my father's infidelity. Pa pleaded that this was all a sham. So weeping, she grabbed him by the collar and dragged him before the mouth of infidelity. Father couldn't care less. He didn't believe anything bad could happen. Neither did the mob of onlookers drawn by the grotesque spec uh, spectacle. Spectacle. How utterly surprised everyone was when the truth played out to be. I can't read that. Wow, this is an awful place to put an X leave button. Cool. Um. Uh, the more you find extras, you get extras will be available in the main menu. Are you kidding? Okay, whatever. I wish I knew how much I had. I guess let's just go forward with the um, main objective. Whoa. A loading screen. <laughs> All right, what's going on? Nice horse. Oh, there's some people we can talk to. Oh, wooden figure of Christ triumph a large golden angel. Small silver angel, broken cross. One gold angel? Are angels the currency? sin so that I may cast the first stone. Why does that happen? What is that whispering? Hey. Forgive me, Master Inquisitor, but some sacks have fallen off our wheelbarrow. We must clear them away. So the passage will be blocked for a while. Are you using your fists instead of brooms? Are you using your fists instead of brooms? You mean this? <laughs> it's nothing, just a friendly scuffle. What's wrong with your face? If you're going to the fair, the main street is the fastest route. Well, we can't do nothing about this? What the hell? Interesting. Okay. Hold there, 
daredevils who don't shy away from a challenge. Ooh. A tournament is Graphics being held not loading. to win the favor of the queen of last year's Mama's Parade. The winner will have the honor of entertaining the beautiful Liliana during the Mama's Parade, which will begin tomorrow after the Vespers service, as is customary. <clears throat> Anyone can try their luck. The entry fee is but one silver angel. One Reach silver into angel. your purses. The collected funds will go toward building a new monument to Christ triumphant. One majestic enough to eclipse that piece of trumpery from Phoebus. Well, well. The Inquisitor himself graces us with his presence. So, I'm happy to see you, Master. I am Guido von Herzen, the town's mayor. It is nice to meet you, mayor. What is your name, master? Mortimer Matadine. Mortimer. I'll be sure to remember that. <laughs> Emissaries of the Holy Office rarely visit us. I do hope that Captain Bertram gave you a proper welcome. He did. He's a soldier through and through. He can come off as blunt and boorish, but I've yet to meet a better soldier. His behavior was befitting of a guard commander. He brought you no shame. Excellent. I'll gladly speak to you later, but now I must attend to a certain matter. And the tournament, of course. I only wish to thank you for offering assistance in catching the vampire. If you truly wish to thank me, take part in the tournament. You'll be mixing business with pleasure. <laughs> I shouldn't waste time on idle merriment. Although, since the monument to Christ triumphant is at stake... What the hell? Add my name to the list. Why were we looking at her? I'm so happy. The other contestants looked insufferably boring, but... You're something else. I noticed it immediately. Well, I'm far from ordinary. <laughs> You'll be the king of the Mama's Parade, which necessitates that you wear the proper attire. Not far from here, there's a merchant who deals in fancy clothing. Buy a costume from him, even if it's only a mask. Meanwhile, I'll attend to my errands. I will see you later. Are we looking at her chest, her boobs, or the necklace? Participation in the tournament is voluntary if you want to learn the mechanics of the game. Find three places of competition and complete tasks. Okay, let's look at our journal. We have clues, actually. The secret weapon of Inquisitors. It takes the form of a powder. The recipe for it is clearly guarded. So that's what that kid took. All right. We have the mayor, Gudo von Hersen, is the mayor of Kongenstein. He appears to be a kind-hearted fellow. Liliana. Liliana appears to be a confident coquette, and her beauty cannot be denied. It's hardly surprising she was chosen to be the queen of the holiday murmurs parade. I bet most of the local men start drooling as soon as they see her. I'm sure they'll all dream of accompanying her during this year's murmurs parade. However, that honor is reserved for the fair's tournament winner. So weird. A kid dressed in rags appeared out of nowhere and snatched my surf skin pouch. Find a needle in a haystack. I can't believe I let myself be dragged into the grot this grotesque tournament. The mayor knew well how to knew well how to con convince me. Now I'm looking for a needle. Some clown has hidden in a haystack. How am I supposed to accomplish that? Carry the pail to the indicated position. The pail seems heavy and will be keeping it vertical or require strength and dexterity in equal measure. I won't have a defeat the fencing master. I won't have an easy time with the fencing master. Fortunately, it's a fight with the wooden swords. I can tr try again if I mess up. Well, how about that? I'm going to be the king of the holiday murmurs parade. I hope that the merchant selling costumes in the market square has some proper attire for me. I need to find its stand. Okay. Can we talk to? What's this? Upon reaching oh, Golgotha, show. the centurion in command of the legionnaires gazed upon Jesus and said, Hop up onto the cross I've set up for you. 
Jesus obeyed the command, as he didn't want the centurion's work to have been for naught. However, his time upon the cross was brief. It's pretty uncomfortable up here. He longed for his freedom. So he broke the uh. reticulum and leapt to the ground. You destroyed my beautiful cross! Woe upon you! The centurion threw himself at the Messiah, sword in hand. But Jesus did not allow him to strike. He who raises the cross dies by the cross. He seized the broken arm of the cross and struck first. Ah, Emperor Tiberius became wroth upon learning that. He decided to deal with Christ. Personally. You killed oh, my royal servant. It'll cost you your head. That I swear. Here's my payment. Jesus snatched the centurion's Whoa, sword Jesus. and cut off Tiberius's head. Thus fulfilling the oath and payment of one head. The emperor is dead. Long live Jesus triumphant, our <laughs> Lord and everlasting King. And that is how Christ claimed the throne of the earth. Amazing. That was a cute little thing. It says or, or, or. Can I do them all? That's the fencing master. Let's do this, I guess. <laughs> Finally, an opponent. I was starting to put down roots. Okay. How do we fight? They never taught me how to fight. Okay, light attacks are faster and harder to dodge. Use them against slower enemies to gain advantage. Be careful, though. Light attacks can be parried and leave Mortimer or the opponent staggered for a while. Good. Excellent. Block is helpful while being overwhelmed and in need of a breather. Block will easily deal with light attacks, but blocking a heavy attack might leave Mortimer or the opponent staggered for a while. Good. Excellent. Heavy attacks are slower, more deadly, yet easy to dodge. Use them against a staggered or slow enemies. Blocking a heavy attack may leave Mortimer staggered for a while. <gasps> oh, putain! Dodge is useful for avoiding damage. It can be used to gain a distance from enemies. Good. Oh, bro. Excellent. <clears throat> perfect parry is a powerful move that can leave the enemy staggered and create an opening for further attacks. To perform perfect parry, the defender must use it when an enemy is about to land a hit. The enemy will then stagger, making an opening for attacks. I don't know when. Oh, I did it. Mad. Oh, the game is so laggy. Boom. Enough. Time for real combat. Right now? I don't have like a health bar. I'm not digging the combat. I'm gonna be real. He yields, bro. I rarely meet my betters. You've given me a valuable lesson. Thank you. Cool. Oh, my game. Oh, I don't know how I feel about the lag. It is very jank. It's the same punk who robbed me. Hello? 
Ruffian! He went there! He stole my purse! Wait, where'd he go? Oh, that's weird. The little snot reeks of rotten fish. How'd he get away again? The hag must have bathed in perfume. Made me lose the scent. The scent? Okay, well, I was trying to do other things as well. Oh, I can't do the other stuff now? That's kind of upsetting. I thought I could do it all. I would love to have, like, gotten a mask or something. Aww. Tomorrow's the Mama's Parade! Oh. oh no, I'm stuck. Only oh no. Will you find masks and it's it's and lagging a lot. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Just to be honest. Got you. It's not him. <laughs> Who are you? Why do you know that? Oh, the he's the one that got stolen from. Let go. It hurts. Show me what's in your hand first. I saw you take it from a town person's cart. It's just an apple. What's your name? And where are your parents? I'm Amelia. And my parents and siblings are dead. Oh my god. They all died two years ago from the plague of pox. So, who looks after you now? Nobody. I don't need anyone looking after me. I can look after myself. By stealing. I was hungry. You won't fill your belly with just anything. What are you gonna do with me? Hand me over to the guards? Well, she's hungry. Hmm. Return the apple to the merchant and off you go. <clears throat> Give the apple back and be off. Just don't tell anyone you stole it. It would be better if you said it fell from his cart. Off you go then. Oh, something happened. Are we lying? Oh, now we can do the other stuff. Okay, good. What happened there? Instead of a ruffian, I caught a little girl named Amelia. Never mind that, it's time to go to the costume stand and buy something for the Mummer's Parade. The girl, a girl appears to be an orphan. She probably lives on what she can find or steal off the street. She's a feisty one and has more spunk than I did when I was her age. And now we have the stint of rotten fish. The small time ruffian reeks of rotten fish. The stint should lead me right to him. That's the combat dude. A list of convicts who will be granted the honor of being beheaded during the celebration of Christ triumphant. Uh, for dis disagreeing the majesties of his team, Cardinal Ansgar. I'm not gonna say these names. I'm gonna butcher them regardless. Double manslaughter. Mugging on the side of the road. Assault at the whorehouse. Desecrating, deserting the garrison. All execution will be carried out by Master Executioner Roland, famed for his steady hand and fervent passion for his craft. So you tell me a dude that does double manslaughter and the dude that mugs, maybe he killed someone, I don't know, are the same punishment? Crazy. Each dropping helps you gain information you need. These drop to each drop find a suitable place to start listening. Each dropping targeting to each drop uh, to start each drop you find a suitable target and focus your sights on it. Oh, 
Oh. Why was this chap beheaded? They say he pissed on his eminence's boots while drunk. It's good he didn't shit in them. Or they torture the poor bastard. Okay. Did you see the milk jugs on Helga? Sure did. I've never seen bigger ones in my life. I hear she likes the hump, but only the Spanish way. What? What way is that? How should I know? I've never been to Spain. The hell? I bet you have to grab her by those jugs like a bull by the horns. Oh, that's classy. I haven't seen it. Gap to detail, you mean? Never seen it. He was here a moment ago. Oh, he even left some flower behind. Okay. Interesting. The Miller's of Princess has left a clever trail of flower behind him. I should have no trouble tracking him down. Why would I need to do that? I don't know how I feel about this, uh basically a pinging system and the noise it makes. Why would we want to track him down? You know what a haystack thing? Hey. Are right, were you the one getting beat up? Oh right. What happened to you, lad? What? Can't you see? Three low lights jumped me near the market square. They beat me bloody and then robbed me. You were there, Inquisitor, but you didn't help me. I saw you. They didn't give me the choice to help you. By the Lord's sword, what are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. Me? I've no flower, Mayor. I got mugged on my way to the fair. They took the money, the sacks. They, they even took the wheelbarrow. Damnation. I hope the horse sons shit themselves Oh my bloody. god. Pardon my foul language, master. You try to do something for the town. You have a noble purpose, but you just can't win. Oh well. Well then. Oh, oh, okay. Beer is much healthier than water, so have your fill and enjoy yourself. Is that blood on the ground? Mon monastic? Bear beer with herbs and honey. Oh, it's just a list of us stuff again. What's happening here? Hey, children. Have you heard any rumors about a vampire? What the hell? A vampire? What's that? It's a monster. Granny said it has long fangs and can fly. Andy likes to drink blood. What are these outfits these children are wearing? Blood? Why blood? To, to live a long time. So maybe my grandpa is a vampire? What? He he's Got to be a hundred years old. Oh god, her talking is so annoying. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Okay. I like the concept of this game, but also it seems very frustrating and laggy and a little jank, like the. Because the town's treasury must be empty if you have to raise funds personally. What's his eyes closed? <laughs> no, Mr. Metterdean, it's not as bad as that. The holiday tournament and fundraiser are simply old customs. Sadly, citizens of Königstein are beginning to suffer from poverty. There are fewer and fewer daredevils willing to join in the revelry. And this year, our goal is a lofty one indeed. However, I'm not certain if the funds we raise will be enough to achieve it. Surely the Cardinal will boast your finances. After all, why is his eyes closed? Christ triumphant. Oh, I wish I could believe that. Unfortunately, his eminence considers generosity on par with wastefulness. Hey, who are you? You have to pick up the pail 
move it to the end of the white line in a vertical position, and then place it in the hole that's been made there. If you drop the pail on your way there, you'll have to hell? start again from the beginning. What is that? I thought they meant pail as in like a pail of water. Okay. Oh boy. Oh no, it's like heavy rain. Heavy rain stuff and quick time events. I don't know how I. Oh! Damn, slip from my hand. That's bullshit. You have to try harder, Master. Oh! Because you don't seem to be doing so well so far. Well, that's kind of fucked up. Mind your business. <laughs> Alright. Sake. What? What did I do wrong there? Do not fret, master. Try again. No, what did I do wrong there? I clicked it in the thing. <laughs> oh, man. I just this this concept of just oh my god quick time events they, they trip me up and you seem to be short on strength left home without breakfast did you i'm gonna hurt you if you keep talking shit to me how about you do this how about that There I go. We did it. Finally. Yeah, finally. Oh, we read this one. Let's get an outfit, I suppose. <laughs> can I choose my mask? Welcome, Master Inquisitor. How can I be of service? Inquisitor? Well, we're colleagues then. Are we? Name's Roland. Master Executioner. Oh. We'll be polite. Mortimer Manadine. Ooh, the lag. Licensed Inquisitor. In service to the Bishop of Hez Hezron. If you need help, stop by the dungeons. I have a few toys there that will certainly make your job easier. Well, Merchant, you've wasted enough of my time. Got anything for the Executioner? What do you want, a mask? Here are the mask and costume of the Merry Executioner from Tianon. The butcher who disappeared off the face of the earth a few years ago. He was a devil. So devils dragged him under. He should be dancing in hell as we speak. Whoa. Poppycock! Piss off or I'll give you a good lashing. How did the mask of the merry executioner from Tianan find its way to a merchant's stand? Is he supposed to be... is he thinking this? Look at it, Inquisitor! Beautiful, isn't it? 
Is it real? Your hand's clipping through it. Oh god, what's happening? Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay. What did you dig up there, friend? What the fuck is happening? It's been a while since I've had a vision. Why would Christ decide to send me one now? What is it he wanted to tell me? <laughs> What's with you, Inquisitor? You seem at a loss for words. I bet you'd like to buy the costume of the Merry Executioner for yourself. Absolutely not. I was first. I don't care. Damned headsman. He paid with gold he got from a convict on the scaffold. I saw the wretch put a coin in his hand, begging for one clean cut. What you mean? Didn't it take him three swings to behead the man? Oh! The butcher revels in cruelty. Supposedly, he lost his position as royal executioner. You're better off taking your own life than letting him lay his mitts on you. From where did you get the mask and costume of the Merry Executioner from Tiananmen? I knew him, so I know that he considered the Jester costume a shameful symbol of degeneration and brutishness, which is why he hid it. No one knew where. I... bought it, Master. Hmm. Where and from who? Where? And from whom? Talk! An old lady sold it to me. One I met on the road, leading through the woods. Yeah, we saw I that. I saw her dog digging out the Merry Executioner's outfit. I'd seen the man many times in the past, so I immediately recognized the mask. I paid a fair price for it. The scoundrel's hiding something. I can feel it. Okay, he's hiding something. I'll let you uncover what is hidden behind the veil. These objects may be useful during your investigations. Oh. This looks like a dog's bedding. <gasps> oh, the dog was wearing this. like the collar I saw in the vision. Oh, I think he killed the old lady and the dog, maybe? <laughs> if memory serves, the old lady called it friend. It's worth a try. Friend! <laughs> well, I'll be. Your mouth, oh my god! You so bad, you have the strength to lick your wounds! Ahem. <clears throat> Leave it alone, brat. <laughs> Leave it alone, brat. Whoa! Our lord treated lesser creatures with love and respect. He'd be wise to do the same. Take it, sir. Pop told me to teach the dog discipline. I was only doing what he told me. Oh! Fuck it, hit him. Oh no, we're done hitting. One was enough. Something stinks here. No one names a dog friend if they want to sell it. Where did you get it from? We bought it from an old lady we met in the woods. Bought it? Come on, friend. You're coming with me. Oh, we got a friend, little dog companion! Okay, game just got ten times better. Oh, it just follows me now. What do I need to do now? Jester costume belonged to Mary Execution from the Tidanon, who was famous for his cruelty and sharp wit. He crossed my path once. This looks like a dog's bedding. A metal dog collar with spikes to protect against wolves. It seems the dog from my vision was wearing the same one. Executioner Roland, a grim brute with a nasty burn scar across his mug. The man's appearance perfectly suits his profession. That much is true. His appearance pleasant at first glance, but in reality, the peddler is greedy and deceitful. 
How do we turn pages? A dog that used to belong to a witch who was burned at the stake by a merchant. The one is large and strong will, but also friendly. I'm certain the merchant is hiding something in the underworld will reveal his secrets to me. I shall go there and find out the truth. I just need to find a quiet and secluded spot without any onlookers. An out of the way shrine would be best. So over here? What? Gus! What a lovely dog! What's it called? Friend. <laughs> Stop it, friend! <laughs> Stop! Aww. He likes you. He's yours. Really? Take good care of him. Hear that, friend? Will you come with me? <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. We should have gave his collar back, but oh well. So Amelia has a friend. This is a good place for a journey. To a be journey. Underworld. Our father, what our king, bereave us of our weakness, lest we forgive those who trespass against us, draw our evil from darkness, so we may vanquish in thy name. My god. Are we actually gonna do something or is this just gonna be like a cutscene? Oh, look at us, we have a different outfit. The Unworld. You came to the Unworld to uncover the truth. Your life depends on the light that emits from here. When you lose it, you die. What? Wait, I'm confused how this works. Our hair is white. Or it looks white. Shards, the light beams visible during prayer will show you the location of the shards. When you gather them all, you will experience sanctuary visions. Whoa. We look pretty cool, honestly, the outfit. Light wells. The light well is a place where you can hide, activate to extract light from it. This will create a barrier that the merc cannot penetrate. You will also regenerate your light. Huh? The merc? Ah. I don't know what the merc are. Why can't I go through there? Huh? Maybe I need to go back first? Hang on. I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused about what I need to be doing. Okay, 
so we do this. Did I mess something up? Oh, I'm dumb. I'm sorry. I didn't see that. It was just so bright. I just didn't see that. If they die, you'll be born at the light will. Why would I die? Like, I'd walk off or something? What the fuck is that? Excuse me? The Merc. This is a being in the underworld that I will constantly track you. It is the Merc. Beware of it. Use the prayer to become less visible to the Merc. You can hide from its deadly days and the encountered hideouts. Definitely killed her. Keep running. Keep running. does. More murk. Different kinds of murk. Brood of the murk. Some islands in the unworld are controlled by the brood of the murk. It's made of darkness. Phantoms will attack you if you get in their way. Prayer will help you bypass them. Wow, it just seems like they don't care. Your amulet betrayed you. Your amulet betrayed you. Sanctuary. After collecting all the shards, go to the sanctuary. You will experience a sanctuary vision there. It seems like our prayer might go down, but mine isn't. So I don't know if that's a glitch or just something for the demo. Alright, show me the vision. He definitely killed the old lady. Took her dog. <gasps> Should have sold me the mask and costume when I was asking nicely, witch. You're probably wondering how I knew you for a witch. Hmm? <laughs> Your amulet betrayed you. We'll meet again, Knave. Oh. I don't think so. Her poor dog. Farewell, friend. Nothing sadder than having an animal's owner die, in my opinion. Well, I'm sure there's sadder things, so that makes me really sad. It's not the animals don't know. Merchant's a lying bastard. Just as I suspected, the merchant hadn't been honest with me. I wonder what he'll say once he's back against the wall. Oh. 
Oh, stop. Oh. Oh, they update it? No. These did not update. They're just... Weirdly... Okay. Fimble face punk with sadistic inclinations and a mean look in his eyes. Someone has to teach this thought some discipline. The murder poses a mortal threat in the unworld. It stalks anyone who dares to enter its realm. There's no way to defeat it. The only course of action is to avoid it. Ugh. Magical necklace made of mandrake and that once belonged to a witch. It was how the merchant discovered that the old lady had been a sorceress in the first place. Do we not like witches in this in this realm? We burn witches, don't we? Why did everything reset like it was um new? When that is not the case. I must have some wine. The young world drained my life force as usual. But first I'll have words with the merchant. Damn peddle light to me. He didn't buy that mask. Why can't I it seemed like I could talk to that dude. Whoa! I don't like how these are also just typed out. Where's the peddler? Bastard. You lied to me, merchant. You didn't buy the Mary Executioner's costume. You took it from the old lady that you burned at the stake. How do you know all this? <laughs> you can't hide the truth from an Inquisitor. You can't hide the truth from an Inquisitor. Didn't you know that? Forgive me, master. I didn't want to speak of it in front of my customers. They wouldn't buy my wares that they heard. She was a witch. A real witch. I did a good deed by killing her. You would have done the same in my place. Would I? Hmm. Return the amulet as in return it to the witch? Give back the mandrake amulet you took from her. The Holy Office does not tolerate lynchings. The Holy Office does not tolerate lynching. Only licensed inquisitors are allowed to sentence people to the stake, and only after a thorough investigation. You are not a licensed inquisitor, are you? Guards! Damn! Yes, master. The merchant violated an inquisitorial prerogative. Take him to the dungeon. Holy shit! Fuck you, Let dude! Me be. I haven't done anything wrong. She was a witch. Get your fucking hands off my father, you scoundrels! <laughs> what are these choices? He was abusing a dog. I'm a punk to look after the stand. Or I'll confiscate the merchandise to cover the costs of your trial. Do as he says, son. And don't worry. We'll see each other soon. Hmm. The game now is very is laggy. Up, I could use some wine. We don't even get a mask. I want to look cool. You want some fucking wine? We read that. Hello. I would like some wine, sir. Have you heard anything about a vampire? Have you heard anything about the vampire? The vampire. My lord. I've heard talk of vampires, devils, dogs, and cats living <laughs> together. Mass hysteria. Once, I even heard a tale of a dragon near Krakow that no one could vanquish. Okay, the until text is going faster than his words. And out drank the beast, supposedly. They went at it for the whole day and night. Mm. At dawn, the dragon was so parched that he immediately dashed to the river and guzzled so much water it made him burn. 
first. Folks talk of all things here, Inquisitor, and it's all nonsense, as that's all they can spew once they've gotten good and drunk. Bro, his text was going faster than his words. Is the wine any good? Is your wine any good? Is your wine any good? Finest Rhenish vintage, Master Inquisitor. Sweet as the body of a virgin. What the hell? And strong to boot. Sure. For a rumor. <laughs> That'll be five silver. Eight. Five. Is it truly a noble vintage? <laughs> what the hell? That is a truly noble beverage. Wait, Take what? Six. The holy office is paying. Wait, I misunderstood what that option was. There you are. Do you have the mask? By the Lord's sword. <laughs> I don't know. Um, We'll say that. That's so funny. Say it. By the Lord's sword. I completely forgot about that. Men, you have time until tomorrow. Now come, you'll walk me home. Oh god, her mouth wasn't moving. way, you'll tell me why you were dispatched to Königstein. If it's not a secret, that is. It's not. Everyone will be talking. Don't leave me, Waldemar. Oh my god, okay. Bro, you left me. Bad it soon anyway. The Holy Office received news of a vampire prowling the town. I am to see if there is any truth to it. A vampire in Königstein? This is the first time I'm hearing about it. The Holy Office hears much more than ordinary people. So then, how do you intend to find it? I'll start with the inns. I'll listen to the rumors. Ask around with the staff and the regulars. Then you should definitely stop by the Frisky Mermaid. It's the town's most popular inn. The fat innkeeper is likely to know about everything that's going on in Kernigstein. Kernigstein? Kernigstein. Uh oh, who are these fuckers? Let's get out of here. Uh oh. Stand behind me! Oh, you pushed her! You pushed her into the mud! All right, real combat. Let's go. I'm killing some fuckers. Oh my god, he went through the wall. I am not a big... I'm not big on the fucking... On the combat. I'm just gonna be honest, the combat's kinda uh Well who are these fuckers? Whoa! Damn robbers! Kill them! In the name of the Lord! Oh my god! Priest! Red coats! Leg it! We are grateful for the rescue. You've arrived just in time. Such was God's will. I mean, I was doing pretty good. Silence. I don't know. I didn't recognize anyone. Where am I? I know that one from the harbor. Must have been part of that gang. We've been looking for you, mistress. The cardinal asks that you come to oh, the Oh, there I am. I was like, where the fuck am I? You? I don't know. Who are you? Mortimer Matadine. Licensed Inquisitor. In service to the Bishop of Hez Hezron. Forgive the insistence, Master Matadine. Welcome to Kernigstein. Kernenstein. I shall inform the Cardinal of your arrival. His eminence is currently preoccupied, but he will certainly wish to speak with you later. Come to the cathedral between the first and second tolling of the bells for Vespers. It is the time of day when the Cardinal talks to worshippers. Do not worry about the bodies of these villains. The town guard will dispose of them. Tell the Cardinal that I will be there. All right. Please forgive my brusqueness, Mortimer. This assault made me lose my composure. Sadly, I must leave you here. Duty Did calls. she get injured? I'll see you tomorrow at the Mama's Parade. 
Hey. We just... And she works for the Cardinal. Good to know. She got shoved. We just shoved her into the fucking dirt. Whoa, inspect the bodies. All right. They reek of rotten fish. That small time ruffian had the same stench about him. Maybe he was working for them. The Cardinal's soldier mentioned a gang prowling the harbor. If I found that hideout, I could recover my shirt skin. Hmm. It's worth a try. How long is this demo? I feel like a short and sweet demo would probably be preferable. Cardinal soldiers. His eminence is a private army whose leader doesn't inspire trust. The habit is the only thing that sets them apart from a second rate thug. And then Liliana. Oh, wait, no. Wait. Oh. It appears the good hearted residents of Klungenstein do not have as much of a scrap of knowledge regarding the vampire. Nobody's seen or heard anything. Lana doesn't know anything about the bloodsucker. She least suggests that I inquire about it at the Frisky Mermaid Inn. The innkeeper is supposedly privy to all of town's happenings. During the scuffle with the robbers, Liliana suffered a cut to her arm. I don't understand why she became so wroth over it. After all, it turned out to be but a scratch. To make matters worse, she blamed me for the entire incident. She should be thanking me. I came to her defense after all. It seems Liliana is in service to the Cardinal. I am curious as to her duties. She's concerned about a scratch because of the freaking vampire. She knows more than she lets on. Are we about to really go to the freaking harbor now? Dear Cornelius, in response to your dripping in with insults letter of urgency concerning the delayed delivery, I would like to inform you to that any overdue orders will be made up for, and so the ordered oak crates will arrive at your door as soon as possible. Unfortunately, due to the upcoming circulations of Christ Triumphant, we had to shift all of our production capacity to manufacturing benches and seats so that the revelers can sit their asses on something. Said items, in order to be of sufficient quality, had to be made of oak wood, and so there was not enough of the material left for your order. As soon as I send this letter, more timber should arrive at my workshop unless the carpenters from Calvert's buy it out first. And so you, Cornelius, can inspect your order in a few weeks. I fervently apologize for the delay and promise to lower the price to soothe your battered nerves the tiniest bit. Hmm. Hmm. It disappears. Wow. Oh, prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for not letting me compromise in pursuit of the truth. Ooh. Where do I go? Might as well. I don't know what. Yeah, we can skip it. It's fine. Was there always a cross above his head when he does this? I do not remember. The game is very laggy. It's very jank. They weren't lying when they said it was jank and controls. in the sauce. It's a pretty big place. Now, if I wanted to have a demo, I would end this here. Nope, we're still playing. We're, we're still, we're still playing. The harbor is a grim and dirty place, home to the lowest of Kongenstein's scum. I must have eyes in the back of my head if I wish to return from here in one piece. 
how long is this gonna be? Is the real question. I wasn't- I'm not as enthusiastic as I was about the lore of this game than I am with playing it. To me, it's filled with quick time events and it's janky controls, but I do love the storytelling of it. I think it's really unique. But also, I don't know if it's worth playing fully yet. Okay. Let's just get through the demo first and foremost. Bench one fish. Maybe it'll lead me to the gang's hideout. <laughs> Well, now we can explore the docks. I was gonna read that, but I feel like they could have done better with the notes in this game as well. Instead of just having it typed out on a scroll. Oh my god, why is someone hung there? Get the lag. The door's been bolted from the inside. He did not bolt that. Whoa! Like these stupid quick time events. Oh. Spare me, sir. I'll beg you. I have children. Mm hmm. Ask about the employer. Who sent you after me? A woman eyed us in the arbor. She wore an expensive Venetian mask. So I didn't see her face. But her voice seemed familiar. She was wearing white gloves and paid with silver. What? Have you heard anything about a vampire? It's what the noble folk call us. The have-nots. They say we suck the town and its funds dry, oh, okay, well, but no. it's been years since anyone's heard of any actual vampires. I guess we can ask them all, I didn't even know that. Do you know who I am? Inquisitor! The whole town's been talking about you! And yet you decided to come after me. A man can't say no to coin when he's got none to feed his children! Whoa. Usually I like playing the good girl, the good guy. I guess we still will since we're probably not going to play the entire game. I'll spare your life. I shouldn't have. I should kill you, but I will spare your life. Should you meet the woman in the Venetian mask again? Tell her that an Inquisitor is not easily frightened. Oh, he knocked him out. Okay. That works, because he pulled out a knife, bro! Oh, and some coin. Was he lying, or is that what she paid him? Strange coins. Oh, not normal currency? Okay. Oh, it's stinky in here. Are you dead? They're dead. Oh. I pouch for Shurskin. I was right. And what's this? A city map with underground entrances marked on it. Could be useful. Battles were, that were drilled into the town make for convenient shortcuts. Look for entrances of the map to make use of them. So now we have a map, finally. And how do we look at our map? Oopsie. A mysterious woman in a mask sent a band of roughnecks after me. She was wearing white gloves. Curiously, the lowlights claimed her voice sound familiar. Is it Liliana? The lowlights said the nobles have taken a call of the half not vampires, but with them sucking the funds from the town's vault. Oh, wait, I meant to look at my thing.
Found them on the thug who attacked me near the market square. They look different from the coins used in regular circulation. Hmm. I guess we can't actually look at the map. Okay, these dudes are dead. What's, what else is there to see? Oh, apparently this. Poison. They were poisoned? Bloody fools mixed that wine with sure skin. They must have mistaken it for something. Oh well. Stuff's them right. Just a shame they used it all. There's nothing for me here. Time to look into the vampire case. I hope they've got good wine at the Frisky Mermaid. Okay. Oh, there's a dude here. Hello. Do you know a woman who wears a Venetian mask? An expensive one. Half of them wear such masks, master. Each prattling on about how her mask is special, but they all look the same to me. still have more to do. I feel like the demo's going on too long. I'm gonna be honest. What's happening? Oh! Hey, Lo. A harlot's been murdered. Gruesome sight. A murder. Oh no, I'm stuck. Murdered. Oh my god, she's just naked. <coughs> Call the town guards. We've already sent for them, master. What's everyone staring at? Get out of this camp. It's not a sight for children. Give this to the owner of the Frisky Mermaid Inn. Tell him to prepare a room for me for the night. There's a silver angel in it for you if you do a good job. But if you rob me, I'll find you and burn you at the stake like a witch. Whoa! You're gonna throw out that quick time event in a conversation? Well, what happened? He kneeled down when I'm standing up. Examination is useful for finding additional information scattered around the crime scene or an object of interest. To start examining, interact with the object of interest. After examination starts, control the camera with L and R. If something looks odd, it's probably worth examining. Look for oddities and point the camera at them in order to observe the note and note the observation. Oh, well. Her ankles. The poor girl tried to run away. Yikes! That's a fucked up ankle. Oh my god. Her kidneys were cut out. They took her kidneys! A piece of cloth. Could it belong to the murderer? Is that the grass? What is that she's laying on? It looks like mush. Bruise on the face. Probably made by an aggressive client. Yikes. 
Is that everything? Her knees? Scratched knees. They weren't the cause of death for sure. Are we done here? There's one more thing, apparently. Oh, we can look at the back! A blunt force wound. It appears someone knocked her out first. Oh god, the texture. Maybe someone saw something. Gotta listen in now. All right. Hello. I am not in the will. Folks say there's this special whore in town. A hermitite, hermaphrodite, something. She's got both a fanny and a prick. <laughs> so you and your old lady can ride her together. They say lines are forming to see her. That's how eager to fuck she is. The hell? Familiar face. Yes, it's Roxanne, a whore from Burgundy. I saw her around the inn. I even made use of her services a few times. She was good at her job. Half the town's Oh! we were done. I don't know. I'm not from around here. I arrived only yesterday for the fair. Oh, you know, Satan, it's his doing. He messes with people's heads. <clears throat> the way I see it, you're all fucking suspects. You, me, all of them. <laughs> Fuckers. So, the bloodsuckers are still around, are they? In Kernigstein? It can't be. Well, there's this one doctor. I heard there's none better at bloodletting. He'll put leeches on you to suck the disease right out. Oh my gosh. But he'll also drain your purse dry, the bloodsucker. Not actual vampire, then. Well, I found out quite a lot. Something stinks of piss here. Maybe someone was using the outhouse while the murder was being committed. Okay. Well, the game lags. What's that? It seems to be a piece of a cane. There's no blood on it. I wonder. Could it be related to the case? I mean, there's also a sheep over here. Oh no, it's friend! Oh my god! Hello, friend. Waiting for your <gasps> snot nosed mistress. I thought he was a sheep. I'm not gonna lie. Yo! What? I have to chase someone again? Good thing not very far. Oh shit, we're getting a vision. From Jesus Christ himself. These scenes are pretty cool. Why do they need her kidneys? I, I, I did something wrong. Why did you run? So why did you run? Get up! You're coming with me. And don't try to run, or you'll feel my sword. Hey, you there! Get over here! Yes, master? 
Where's Captain Bertram? Interrogating guests at the inn. Who's this bum? And how did he get his hands on a cardinal soldier? Oh! Spouse? I hope we'll find that out soon enough. Watch him. I must have words with your commander. I'm innocent, master. Shut your mouth, you filthy bastard! No one's asking your opinion. Well then. Whoa! Uh, this game is very janky, I will say that. Very janky. I will say hello to friend again, though. Hello, friend. Pet the dog, though? 10 out of 10. Not nose mistress. Ooh. It actually looks nice in here. I hope that scamp's making arrangements for my room. Where were you at that time? Here. Yeah. Carl can vouch for me. I, I I was having a beer with him. It's true. It's true. Captain. Forgive me, Master, but I don't have time right now. I know what happened. I saw the corpse. I came because I managed to detain a papa who was behaving suspiciously near the crime scene. Your men are guarding him outside. Off with you. He was wiping blood from this dagger. A strange blade. I've never seen any of its ilk. Nor have I. That is why we must approach this case with due diligence. Especially because the murder bears the marks of a ritualistic killing. Ritualistic? The victim's kidneys were removed. How horrid. That's not all. The suspect was wearing a coat like those worn by the Cardinal's soldiers. A pauper? How is that possible? I assure you that a thorough interrogation will help us determine the facts. I would like to conduct it personally, preferably in a place that's meant for such purpose. As you wish, Master. I shall lock the suspect in the dungeons. One more thing, Captain. I came to the defense of a lady named Liliana today. We were assaulted by robbers in an alley. The commander of His Eminence's soldiers informed me about the incident. He failed to mention Liliana, though. Odd. Residents of Königstein know the girl serves the Cardinal. They also know that his eminence doesn't tolerate attacks on his people. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Attend to this pauper, Captain. I wish to talk to Master Manadine in private. Is something wrong with you? It's just garlic. My stomach doesn't agree with it, and the innkeeper uses rather excessive amounts. <laughs> he could be the vampire. <laughs> Luckily, the wine provides a measure of relief. Sit down, please. I would like to talk about the task that brought you here. That is a Master. giant ass fort. Do you really believe there's a vampire hiding in town? It's absurd. There hasn't been a vampire attack recorded around here for nearly a century. I would know if it were otherwise. I wouldn't have been dispatched. I assure you that I wouldn't have been dispatched to Königstein if there weren't grounds for it. Preposterous. I believe the Holy Office should look into a different matter. Strange events have been taking place here for and some time. And his mouth's not moving. Meaning? For years now, the town's been the setting for a dispute between the Cardinal, whom the have-nots hate, and the universally adored Countess Isabella. The harlot's murder may be a part of that conflict, as could be the assault on Liliana. I have my suspicions, but no concrete proof. I know that the Cardinal keeps his secrets in an office that only his monks can access. I've also managed to ascertain that there's a secret chamber at the Countess's palace. My spies were not able what? to infiltrate it, but you, Master, you just might. Should you accomplish it, the truth would be revealed. What truth? As I have already said, all I have are suspicions, but the inn is not a good place to talk about this. Yeah, we're just out These in the open. Walls have ears. I must leave town today, so let us meet at the city hall in two days' time. 
By then, you'll have become acquainted with the case. If you decide I'm right, I'll introduce you to my Persian and tell you everything I've managed to find out so far. Oh, he's dead. My Persian? Yes, my Persian. The only one I trust. What say you, master? This is not why I came here. But all right. Perhaps we'll catch two birds with one stone. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Your station as Inquisitor should guarantee your safety, but proceed cautiously nonetheless. Just in case, I'll announce that you're helping the Captain catch the Harlot's killer. It will explain your interest in the case. See you in two days, Master Oh, Manager. he definitely dying, by the way. Leaving town? Isn't the Nothing parade tomorrow? If God put the mayor in my path, then he suddenly had an important reason for it. Maybe that will lead me to the vampire. The lighting in here is actually very nice. Hello, little girl. What? Oh! I don't. I don't want to read that. Actually. Did you do as I asked? Sure did. I'll be back in the morning to collect the silver angel you promised me. I'm happy to have you under my roof, Master. The servant girl will get your room ready. Okay. Whoa. Should I go up? No, I gotta go to the cathedral. I don't want to. Look how shiny his hair is in some lighting. I wanna go to my room. It won't let me run in here. Oh. Oh, this is our letter. What? Captain Town Garnet, a man named Bertram, will be waiting for you. Mayor Gudo von Harrison will be made aware of your visit as well. I believe he will accommodate you with proper hospitality and make you work and make your work possible. Worry not for the travel costs or other expenses, the Holy Office will cover all of it. It seems to be a routine matter. Once you find the misfit, do what you must. Then promptly return to the Inquisitorium to complete the protocols. Okay. So I'm guessing this is our room. Okay, I went out of here. How long is this fucking tutorial? This fucking not tutorial. Demo. We're almost already at two hours. I feel like demos should be short and sweet, you know? Introduce the world, the, some of the characters, and some of the mechanics. I feel like we're way past that right now. The first tolling of the bells. Time to go meet the Cardinal. Okay, there we go. As I was complaining about it, we reached the end of the Inquisitor. First look? I- oh. Oh. Hold on. What is happening? I think we're at the main menu. Uh, first look, first glance, first- Thoughts. Um, I'm just gonna turn this all the way down. I enjoy the lore of this game. It seems very interesting, but it's very janky. Like, even just like loading into like different scenes of them talking doesn't work all the well all the way. Like, sometimes their mouths don't move, or sometimes when you flick to another scene or, or point of view, their hair or bodies move in weird ways. I'm not trying to be too harsh, but this is a demo and it did come out recently, and if that's how the full game is, I don't think I would want to play it. It's not a game that I'm going to be like, oh my god, I gotta play it right now. But if it goes on sale or something, maybe, and I have nothing else to play, I would probably play this. If you guys enjoyed it more than I did maybe you guys should play it or let me know below um I felt like it was too long for a demo we're almost two hours in I feel like and it's just like wow I don't know I feel like demos should be short and sweet in my opinion but maybe that's not always the case for games like this or just like I don't know. It's really cool concept. I do like the abilities you have, but it's very jank and it's very noticeable. It's not like it's not noticeable. It's noticeable in almost every movement you make. But it is interesting. I do like the lore. 
Um, and I guess I had fun for what it was. I don't think I'll play it either immediately or ever. I'm not really sure. Don't want to be too harsh on the whole game because I haven't played the whole game, but from this only, it might be too jank for me to play. Personally. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!